In this episode, we venture inside a gigantic abandoned industrial site that ceased operations 25 years ago. I do my best to uncover the most interesting parts and find out this place is very diverse and remains remarkably intact. Hi, I'm Bob, an urban explorer, and with friends I explore the most amazing abandoned places worldwide. It's my second trip to China this year, and I meet up with Robin and Charles, just like my first trip. Hello. Here we go! Nice right, I'm invited for a dinner at Charles's restaurant. Yeah. I've been eating here so many times. Good. So I just arrived. We're going to eat at Charles' restaurant. Great. Cheers. Cheers. Gumby. Robin and Charles taught me a lot of the Chinese culture, so I brought them some Dutch food. This is a strange candy. Foreigners love it or they hate it. They put it on sandwich. It doesn't even have an English word, I guess. It's like a snack. They put it on the on sandwiches. It's kind of snacks. Some kind of snacks. Chinese food became my favorite. On my last trip, I gained five kilo. Not good for exploring but it's still good. <laughs> and they're still not gone. <laughs> Great way to start my trip in China. <laughs> Charles, the restaurant is amazing. This one is your coffee was given by the girl. A lady was so nice. Thank you. <laughs> Time to embark on our adventure. So here might be the biggest machines. Adventure. Today we travel to our destination, which is over 550 km or 350 miles away from us. Local food! <laughs> On arrival we try the local dish the city is famous for. This is the local dish, it looks delicious before I explore. So Charles, what is it? This is a kind of Chinese beef soup. Ah, local food. Really right. famous. Yeah. Almost there. We arrive at the main gate, only to find it closed and guarded. We try to access the terrain from the side. Also a dead end. After losing valuable time navigating dead ends, I deploy my drone to scout for the best entry point. From this higher perspective, you get a sense of how immense this industrial site really is. Here you can see a big wall, I guess. On the other side of the terrain, we are closer to the more interesting looking buildings, so we take another taxi to take us there. In an earlier episode, you could see how we explored a really impressive silk factory in China. Today, we visit a paper plant. This place got constructed in 1952 and production started in 1954. This period marked the early days of the People's Republic of China under the leadership of the Chinese Communist Party. They proposed the first five-year plan aimed at a rapid industrialization of the country. This factory became one of the key construction projects and the Soviet Union assisted with their expertise. In the 1980s, it was one of the biggest cigarette production factories in China. But by the late 1990s, due to change in times, the factory eventually ceased production, losing its former glory. Don't step in the mud, Charles, like I did. I'm gonna visit the old power station first. Like many big industrial sites, it housed its own power station to provide the factory with electricity. The 
there are some vegetable gardens, so we hurry. It's better not to get seen by anyone. We get inside on the ground floor. I set up my camera, but it turns out we cannot go upstairs from here. So we go back out and try to find another way in. I crawl inside. I'm gonna check if I can open the door for Charles and Robin. But I think it will look amazing. Oh my God, look how rusty this thing is. All from the 50s. And the left should be the turbine hole. Yeah, I think that's a turbine already. All right, see if they can get inside. Yeah, on their, on their left side you can go higher. Great. Good job, it's a tight one. <laughs> Let's go peek inside. This got abandoned in the 90s, right? It's abandoned for a pretty long time. Oh, the date, is there a year on it? 2000. This old gentleman uh -huh. is a kind of god, stands for longevity. Okay. Long life, yeah, he looks Long old. life, yes. <laughs> oh, this is cool. Old papers. Oh! What? i never seen such glasses before, man. Yeah! <laughs> oh, yeah. Really nice. Here we go. Most competitive workshop. Most competitive, okay. Wow. Just gonna walk in the turbine hall. There's a lot of wind here. Wow. Ooh. It's really nice. Strong decay too. And lay inside these houses, you see, they could just hang out. Yeah. It's perhaps for the... Oh no, it's a control room inside. It's a control room. Oh, amazing. Cozy couch. With the heating and air conditioning next to it. Tight, man. <laughs> Enjoying my channel? Elevate your experience by diving into the captivating world of my new book. Discover 256 pages filled with stunning pictures, stories and information of abandoned military installations, ships and other extraordinary locations worldwide. See the adventures behind some photos with QR codes and explore places not available online. Click the link in the description for more details. Love this sign, man. That's cool. Hongqi. A red flag. This sign shows the Communist Party spirit. Nice with the Chinese text on the crane. The most recent turbine installed here dates back to 1979. <laughs> Closet almost falling apart.
What's the text on the crane? On the left one is safety first. The second one is to prevent the crisis. Bad situations. Yes, yes. Yeah. To be careful of the crisis. But this brand is really famous in China nowadays. Uh, it's the first brand of air conditioner. In also, China? Yes, also maybe famous in the worldwide. But you can see the logo. Here is Glee, but yeah. now it's Gree. Now it's G-R-E-E, -E, uh -huh. but 30 years ago it's G-L-E-E. -E. Okay. <laughs> Funny. Here are the three turbines here. Yeah. And there are the, the boilers. Process flow. Is it harder for you to read the old stuff or? No, I'm thinking this kind of sentence is from which kind of book. Ah. I try to understand. It means we serve the society, that means we pay the rent for what we occupy in this world. Mm -hmm. It's difficult to understand actually, no, not like a normal Philosophy. Chinese. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So I guess maybe from the famous guy named Marxist. Ah, Marxist, yeah, yeah, yeah. socialism. M maybe. Yeah. yeah, because this is from the, started from the 50s until the late 90s. Another one. Actions speak louder than words. Okay, actions speak louder than words. Nice one. <laughs> Bob, I don't know <laughs> why this kind of sentence will yeah, appear in the, this kind of factory. This, this means the, the real purpose of reading books is to guide yourself, your heart, into self-thinking. Okay, that's a deep one. <laughs> <laughs> why in the factory? <laughs> they want some yeah. intellect workers here. Hey, but here's the control room, I guess, because there are beautiful lights above the doors. Here's the whole map. Wow. I really love this, man. It's made by hand. Yeah. yeah. Also the writing. Oh, this is like a three-dimensional. Yeah. Look how beautiful. <laughs> this control room is absolutely crazy, but especially a lot of fans. <laughs> the control room has a lot of nice details, like the communist red stars on the lamps. Calculator, yeah. I can tell you how to use it. Two, three, five is enough. So zero, back this is five, oh, yeah. six, seven, mm -hmm. ten. Uh -huh. Ten means back up. This is 10. Yeah. So back up. This is 10. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 100,000. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it makes sense. We make the nuclear weapon. Uh, I mean, in the 1960s, uh -huh. With this we calculate kind of all the data by uh -huh. this kind of <laughs> things. Oh my God. Yeah, because the United States and the Soviet Union, they don't believe us can nuclear weapon by ourselves. Thousands of people, they're calculating data all the day. Look how nice. And how the control room in the boiler house? Oh. Time flies by and it's time to uncover some other buildings. Getting back out. Great.
lots of people's vegetable garden. Okay. Okay. Cool. Let's go. As you can see, we still have to cover a lot of buildings. We focus to find the large production halls of this paper plant. From above, it's evident how rapidly this site became overgrown in just 25 years. Crazy, 25 years of abandonment. It's like we're in the jungle, man. Yeah. All tropical plants, palm trees. Stepping out there. Hmm? This four words names civilized production and another four Chinese characters means a guarantee is a safety. Uh, maybe this is a deer, I ah, guess. Yeah. Yeah. Could be, yeah. No smoking. Nice. I really love the decay in here. The workers mm -hmm. in this factory, and you can see uh, this symbol is for male. This is for female. Mm -hmm. This means he is belongs to the communist party. So also the higher he go, the higher ranked. Mm -hmm. Maybe factory one, factory two, or factory three. Mm -hmm. And the manager of each factory is on the top. Great view from the top. This is just one of the many halls on the production line. Completely intact, but seems totally locked. Let's see if you can find an entrance. We venture deeper into this massive site, bypassing the least interesting buildings. Then we stumble into another interesting building, possibly another production hall. Made a nice entrance for the boys. Maybe stand there, maybe wait to give the stuff. Charles have to give up the stuff, yeah.
the dust on the panel reveals that it has remained undisturbed for a long time. Such a sight is uncommon in the Western world, due to theft and vandalism. This production hall looks beautiful, with its symmetry. Is it close to uh, Vietnam? Is it the yeah. south? Yes. Ten forbidden rules. Ah. You cannot chess, play poker, or reading books, reading newspapers or chatting here what? and you cannot uh, do your own family work uh -huh. during your working time wow. Wow. what does it say on top is it the name of the factory this is the fourth workshop in this factory it's the whole production line explained here yes Uh, all the workers, they cannot take out the papers by themselves. Okay. That's a kind of stealing. <laughs> yeah, of course, yeah. Oh, nothing. Storage, I guess. <laughs> the ceiling. getting dark <laughs> here it's dark around six <laughs> same way again great our first day comes to an end tomorrow we'll be back <laughs> 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 Robin uses his communication skills to find out more about this place. Okay, good mail now, after exploring. Charles always knows what to order. <laughs> yeah, he's a skill for in selecting. <laughs> when I test the machine, it's the same. 
we are back at this gigantic industrial site. We know we won't be able to cover it all, but at least try to find a few more interesting buildings before we have to catch the train. Check. First building we come across. Look inside. All the doors seem locked and there are bars in front of the windows. So it's time to do some morning exercise. It's a dead end. This is just one room, no doors. So this is a dead end. But pretty nice room. I check another point of entry. Inside, I find a small theater, which you could often find inside these factories. There was also a big theater on this terrain, but we were not able to get inside. <laughs> Seems this is in news. Time to check the next building. We find an open door to the archives. These are blueprints office. Blueprint? Okay. Yeah. All these boxes that contains so many blueprints, even some hand making production line mm. and like those, their production techniques, things like that. 1984. These are like Top classified materials. Well, what I'm saying top classified is all about those techniques. The chemical processes. Yes. Yeah. Nice These are the layouts. Oh. Renovation projects. All the documents. If you want to find some specific materials, how to deal with those chemicals when it comes to those construction. The flag is also the Communist Party or? Yeah, Youth Club. Anyway. Yeah. Very old computer. When I see those panda and bamboo, and these kind of chairs are very old fashioned. Oh, For washing your face. Oh yeah, I already saw it, so yeah. And these furniture are very old fashioned. It feels like they just left here yesterday, you see? Yeah, the thing is still there. On the paperwork. Currently we do have our six production workshop. This is Chinese chess. Ah, Chinese chess. Yeah. The same big, board? As, it's uh, not a same board. It's it, it's yeah. Okay. Workers? Yes, workers. Prime Minister Cho, the founder of China. We come across another cool looking lab and I just have to get inside. I can't believe how skillful he is. Difficult one.
if you wanted to be a skill for open explorer you must know how to deal with this unbelievable great awesome We continue our search in the blazing heat. Due to limit the time, I limit the filming to speed up the process of finding the nicest buildings. We come across another interesting building, where I believe the paper pulp was processed. Building is very huge. So we're checking multiple buildings, but all the windows have bars on them, making it really hard to access them. Time runs out. Despite not seeing everything, we probably saw the best bars of this paper plant. In a later visit, Robin found another cool room, which I wanted to share with you. Thanks for watching. Please leave a comment and thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more epic abandoned places.